fishing with that mahi epoxy today with that swimming mullet that three inch chartreuse swimming mullet just looking for fluke got my g g loomis gcx rod my pen clash 2000 that bird just ran through my line it's gonna be a good day we're gonna have a good time with this mahi lure oh just got a hit oh i'm on I'm on, on already. I got 15 pound Power Pro braid, 25 pound dial fluorocarbon leader. Let's see if this is a fluke. Kind of feels robin-y. But should be a fun little afternoon. I was just gonna hit up the surf. No serious expectations. Oh, looks like a fluke. All right. Target species. That's what we're looking for on that mahi epoxy. That's what's up. Been looking for these guys. It's my first one. Let's see if we can get another one. Got a lot of other lures with me, but I'm sticking to this mahi epoxy. Got a lot of weird southern visitors this time of year in the Atlantic Ocean. You, anything's possible. Just let my lure hit the hit the floor. We got some slack tide right now. My lure is just like doing this, having trouble finding its way down in the current, but it'll finally get there, and that's where you want to be. You might think you're there, but so much current from the moon that it's just like making it move all around and it'll eventually hit oh it'll eventually hit a freaking bird all right we're on the ground now seems like the tide just flipped to incoming so that's good i was out here for the outgoing and did not catch anything We'll give the incoming a shot here. Fish on. Fish on. We got bait over here, which is good. This definitely feels like a robin of sorts, but we never know. But we never know. Oh, it's a fluke actually. It's actually a fluke. I'm just gonna ice skate him in here. Just gonna ice skate the fluke in. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a real good one. On that Mahi epoxy. Sick. Woo, I thought that was a sea robin. But it was not. All right, so we might have situated ourselves in a good area here. There's no bait at our first spot, and there's bait here, so that's good. Grab my bag of gold. I used to bring a bunch of like different packs with me, and then I just started throwing them all in one pack. It really doesn't make a difference. They just like the scent. And there's something about the chartreuse. I don't know if it's just in New York, but in general, it seems like the flounder really like chartreuse gold. I don't know why. But it's kind of becoming my default now. Because it seems to just work the best. The white works, but... I don't know. Since I started using the chartreuse, I just catch way more. Something about chartreuse swimming mullet, they just seem to like really like a lot. I think I see some birds way out in the bay. So that could be a fun, fun thing to mess around with if they're blues. Could be mackerel. They come around this time of year too. Oh, fish on. Whoa, what did I just catch? This is good. Ooh, we just got a really good fluke. Grabbed it as it was coming down. 
Oh, we might have just set ourselves up in a really good spot here. This is exciting. This is exciting. That Mahi Epoxy was not working earlier, but then I made a move to the beach. Beach was all right. Nothing really going on at the beach. Oof. This fluke is digging down. Hopefully it's a fluke. I don't know. I just grabbed it as, as the jig was falling. Like halfway. I felt it. Uh, not too big, actually. Just a very aggressive fluke, I guess. But still target species, which is good. Slip him with my slippers. Slip him with my slippers. So I don't touch him. Dig down underneath there. Come on, buddy. They're so cool. Just sitting there. You like that Mahi Epoxy? That's for sure. Might start bucktailing here soon. We got some nice current. I feel like there could be some bigger game fish. Fish on. Nice fish. Really nice fluke. Heck yeah. I was about to throw on the bucktail, but I don't know. This mahi epoxy is like really working. So I might stick to this Mahi Epoxy. This is just a free lure that I got. I don't even know if they make it anymore. But it's definitely working. It's definitely working. Ice skating fluking. Sundial? Fluke. Mahi Epoxy. That's what I'm talking about. Splish splash, Flukes was taking a bath. Thing, cast a mile. Cast further than any other lure. I swear the epoxy jig just soars. Diamond jig too. I ain't hating on the diamond jig. I got one in my bag. But the epoxy, gosh. Still not even on the ground. Now I am. Fish on. Damn. Damn. This doesn't even feel like a fluke or a sea robin. Some kind of magic fish. Doesn't even feel like a fluke or a sea robin. Feels like a magic fish. What kind of fish is it? That's always the fun part. Reeling it in and you don't know what it is. And then it gets up close. You say, oh, is it a sea robin? You always think, oh, is it a sea robin? Ah, Phil's here. Nope. Target species. Phil's in the house. Wow, Phil, you spit that out and almost hit me in the face, dog. What the heck? You almost hit me in the face, dog. Phil the fluke, ladies and gentlemen, and that mahe. Mahe. Apache. Fluke really move around. You kind of got to move with them. But I'm pretty sure they're right over here right now. Got an incoming tide. So I'm trying to get a little a little in front of them to sweep the lure in front of their face. I'm pretty sure they're chilling on the incline right now. So I'm just trying to get my lure down into the strike zone before I start doing anything. Sweep it in front of them. They're there. They're definitely there. Got one. 
There we go. But yeah, I'm just trying to... When you start getting hits with the fluke in one area, I would definitely repeat it. Because there's probably a many, many of them in that area. And when you get on like the patch of robins, I would move away until you find the fluke again. Because the fluke definitely, they kind of, they school up it seems. I'm no master at the fluke. I don't really know a ton about them, but that's sort of what I've gathered over the years is they kind of like school up and they feed on like the same kind of tides as striper, honestly, like the tops and ends of tides. But yeah, they're interesting fish. Definitely really fun to catch. Not, not my favorite of the fish to target, but they're definitely really cool. Super cool. Nothing to complain about today. Sometimes the size is whatever. The size really is whatever, to be real with you. Make sure you get all those goobers and gobbers off of your line. Because nothing will... Nothing will eat if you got goobers and gobbers. Just been looking for little rips and stuff. There's a little rip right here. Just looking for those little weird... Anomaly, is that the right word? I'm not too sure, but that's that's where I'm picking up all the fluke. This is what I'm using, it's these hoagie jigs, but if you can't find that mahi color, this one right here, it's called Albi Crack. That one's widely available, they sell that one everywhere. Yeah, I just bring a bunch of colors with me and just looking at the bait in the water and this looks like the most like it, so I'm gonna use this one. So many small ones. Well, if you want to come out here and practice your fluke game, you definitely got to work the same method as catching the big ones, that's for sure. You got to dial in that bounce. It's a good time. It's a good time. The hoagie is definitely the way to roll this time of year. Especially because, like, I swear it's the same fish. It's like the same fish just comes, goes back out there, sees the gulp again. It's like, oh, gotta mess with Bob again. But I love this rig because if the blues come around or like the mackerel or something, I can just take that gulp off and start fishing for them. And that's the only other species that's really around. I tried the bucktail for a bit and it wasn't working. Nothing wanted the bucktail, which makes me think that the bait is all just small stuff. And in which case, the hoagie's the way to roll. Damn, son, look at that bird. That thing is big. Yeah, it's just, I feel like it's the same fish, just over and over and over again. But it's not. It's a lot of these fish which I feel like that's perfect bass meal. If I was a bass, I'd be over here. But at the same time, it's a little warm. Dial? Yeah, it was just a dial in the sun. It's a pretty good one. I almost think we should keep it. Do a catch and cook? Should we do a sundial catch and cook? Yeah, sundial is really underrated. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions about the fishing gear that I used, I'm gonna link it all in the description so you can see exactly what I used on this trip. And try some sundials if you've never tried it before. It's delicious, so cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.